so aim and objectives identify and specify common material used for manufacture identify and specify the properties of the material identify and specify the common material selection process identify and specify the common process used for manufacture carry out an overall evaluation of the selection of material for manufacture in terms of process select the suitable process for given product based on critical processing factor identified during the drawing interpretation so important factors product design must meet the specified need materials with appropriate property must be selected suitable manufacturing process must be selected the response of the material during manufacture and its service here uh, we are going to see the types of material so the engineering materials classified into four types that is metal plastic ceramics composite so in metals we will have a classification ferrous non ferrous amorphous then plastic we will have a classification thermoset thermoplastic and elastomer so on selection of uh, materials so the selection of materials is uh, material is classified into metal and non metals in non -met metals uh, we will have a classification ferrous and non ferrous then we have to consider the mechanical and uh, physical properties so in a physical properties density melting point electrical or thermal property mechanical property strength resist externally applied load without breaking or yielding uh, stiffness resist deformation under stress elasticity regain original shape once the force is removed plasticity property which retains deformation required for forging etc ductility ability to drawn into a wire by a tensile force brittleness sudden breaking with the minimum distortion toughness resist fracture due to high impact load creep deformation under stress and high temperature fatigue ability to withstand cyclic stresses hardness resist to wear scratching deformation machinability etc then types of metals so the metals is classified into majorly classified into two types that is ferrous and non ferrous so in a ferrous alloys ferrous pure ferrous metal ferrous alloys in alloys we will have two types steel high speed steel then pure ferrous we will have iron the non ferrous we will have two category that is pure non ferrous metal non ferrous alloy in alloy we will have a brass bronze solder then pure non ferrous metals copper aluminium zinc tin lead silver gold mercury so based on the mechanical property based on the application we select a suitable material thank you the remaining